guys, it's Cece, and today I am here to talk about Disney. So just a few days from now, I will be graduating from college. Horrifying, because then adulthood happens. Not horrifying because I'm ready to be done with college. So there's a give and take. But because I am graduating, I am also going on a graduation vacation, courtesy of my lovely grandparents, and they are taking me to Walt Disney World. So here's the thing, first of all, I grew up in Utah, which means that for the most part, the Disney park that I've gone to my entire life is Disneyland in California. That one's much closer to me. I've been to Disney World twice before. Once when I was one, I have no memory of such a trip, and once when I was about 13, and I have sort of memories of this, but it has been almost 10 years since I've been to the park in Florida, so I'm really excited. And I thought, in honor of the fact that I am going to a Disney park, I would tell you a bunch of my Disney favorites. I have like a few different ranked lists. I have like favorite Disney movies, princesses, songs, rides, Disney Channel original movies, live action, Pixar. I have few to get through and I'm going to be giving you a top three of all of these things so if you like Disney, if you like ranked lists, this is the video for you. I hope you're ready. So I thought we would start easy and talk about my top three favorite Disney princesses. So first of all, an honorable mention goes to Mulan. She did not make my top three because Mulan, even though she's part of the Disney princess line, isn't actually a princess. And so she's an honorable mention because I love Mulan, but yes. But coming in at number three, we've got Princess Tiana from Princess and the Frog. Tiana is fabulous. She's hardworking, ambitious, funny. I love her to death. She has some fabulous music. I mean, I don't know what else there is to say. I love Tiana. Coming in at number two, we've got Belle? I mean Belle. She's a princess that loves books. Clearly, that speaks to me. The fact that the big gift she receives is a library has always spoken to me. Plus, she has one of my favorite lines in any Disney song ever, which is, I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. Belle has to be on this list. And my number one favorite Disney princess is Rapunzel. Rapunzel just wormed her way into my heart. I love how kind of jumpy and awkward she is. I love that she uses a frying pan to defend herself. I love that her sidekick is Pascal. There are so many things to love about Rapunzel. And she's great, and she's my favorite Disney princess ever. Next up, I wanna talk about my top three favorite Disney rides. Now for this, I am talking only Disneyland. That is the park I have the most experience in. I have been to Disneyland Paris. It's pretty similar to Disneyland in California. And like I said, I've been to Disney World, but we're just gonna keep it in Disneyland for the purposes of this video. So a couple of honorable mentions go to the Matterhorn, which is exclusive to Disneyland. It's a bobsled ride, it's great. Star Tours, which was my favorite when it was there originally, and then I really like the update that they've done on it. And I have to mention Toy Story Midway Mania. In California, that one's in California Adventure. It's not in Disneyland itself, but I love Midway Mania. It's the best. And last time I played it, I legitimately hurt my arm because I get so competitive when I play it. But coming in at number three, my third favorite ride is Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean was my favorite when I was a kid. It's still a favorite now. It's fun. I love the boats. And every time I go to the park, I go on the ride multiple times. Coming in at number two, we've got the Indiana Jones Adventure. This is another one that I'm so sad is exclusive to Disneyland because it's such a good ride. It's adventurous and fun and I always enjoy it. And my number one top favorite Disneyland ride is the Haunted Mansion. That has almost always been my favorite Disney ride and it is the only ride at Disneyland for which I own like materials for. I have an entire book about the history of the Haunted Mansion in various parks. I have comics of the Haunted Mansion. I love that it's different in every park. I always enjoy seeing the differences, especially in the outside construction of what it's going to look like. But just the classic Haunted Mansion ride is fun, it's great, it's atmospheric, and I love it. All right, I hope you're ready. We're gonna talk about Disney Channel original movies. So some runners up, of course, we have Kim Possible, So the Drama, because Kim Possible was one of my all-time favorites growing up, and So the Drama, I think, maintains its status as a pretty good movie. We've got Motocross, which came out in the 90s. It's like a Twelfth Night thing, and it's like the queerest undertones that a Disney movie has gotten, especially a Disney Channel original movie. It was quite good. And then I have to mention Good Luck Charlie, It's Christmas, if only because my dad's in this movie. If you've seen Good Luck Charlie, It's Christmas, there is this guy named Chuck Jablowski. He owns like a video game company, and he's played by my dad, 
which is weird. And also, that weirdly means that that summer after that movie came out, we went to Disneyland at the same time as a couple of the people who were in the show. And so they came over and talked to us, and I got to meet a couple of them because they knew my dad, and so they came over to talk to him. So, yeah, that has to be an honorable mention for, like, those two reasons, I guess. But my actual top three. So coming in at number three, we've got The Color of Friendship. I watched this obsessively. I don't think it gets nearly enough attention as a decom movie. It's got such a great vibe and style and message, and it's not on nearly enough. It's a great movie. At number two, we've got Halloween Town. I think the original one is the best. I don't really care about the second one. I like the third one, Halloween Town High, and my dad's in the fourth one. Again, this is weird, but it's weird because I really hate the fourth one because they recast Marnie, so it's a weird balance of, oh, my dad is in a scene of it, but I hate it. So that's a weird space to occupy, but Halloween Town, the original one, witches, a whole town of Halloween, Debbie Reynolds, you know, I watch it every Halloween, it's awesome. And my number one Disney Channel original movie is High School Musical. I love the entire High School Musical trilogy. It's one of those things that I assumed I would grow out of and I can't, my passion is too strong. It's all nostalgia and I don't even care. Still know all the words to all the songs and the third one is like honestly pretty high quality as a movie. I mean, it was a theatrical release so they had a lot more money, but I think they're fun. I think they have good music and even if the plot is ridiculous, I always enjoy watching them. Next up, I wanna talk about my top three favorite live action Disney movies. Weirdly, this was the most difficult one to make because the Disney company has been involved in so many live action movies at this point that it's, it's really hard to make a top list. First, runners up, Hocus Pocus. Okay, when I told Janelle that Hocus Pocus was on my runners up list, she looked at me in the eye and she was like, I'm gonna have to consider not breaking up with you, which is fair, I suppose. Hocus Pocus is great. I watch it every year, but there are just a couple that I love more. I'm sorry, Janelle. Other runners up include Enchanted, which I just rewatched recently. Still a great movie. There should be an Enchanted too. I mean, maybe there shouldn't be. Maybe I'm saying, maybe I'm against a sequel, but it's great. And National Treasure, which is a movie that I am unapologetically passionate about, and I will watch it any day of the week, ever. And I can't believe it only makes an honorable mention list because I love National Treasure and I love National Treasure 2, Book of Secrets. What excellent mystery movies. What adventures. So my actual top three favorite live action Disney movies are at number three, The Muppets. I was raised in a Muppet loving family. It would just be wrong to not have Muppet things on this list somewhere. I love The Muppets. I thought it really revived The Muppets as like characters. They get to be in more stuff now, which is exciting. I grew up loving the original Muppet movie and then all of the other little Muppet movies that were made. Like the Muppet movie itself is great, but then, you know. Anything the Muppets are in, I'm a fan of. At number two, we've got Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. I refuse to allow this to be soiled by what a terrible human being Johnny Depp is. Like, this movie defined my life for a couple of years when I was younger, and when I rewatched it last summer with my sister, and she was like, I mean, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean's a pretty good movie. I was like, you have no concept of how iconic this movie was when it came out. Like, people my age, do you remember Pirates of the Caribbean being released? Because that was a huge deal. I feel like we were all so deeply in love with Pirates of the Caribbean. I had no interest in seeing the fifth one because, like I said, Johnny Depp's kind of a trash human being. But now they've announced that Keira Knightley's gonna be in it. And I really wanted to be Keira Knightley when I grew up. I don't know. I just don't know what I'm gonna do anymore because the only thing that they could have done to make me interested in this movie was to bring back Elizabeth Swan and Will Turner. And they did. And my number one favorite live action Disney movie is Sky High. This is the best superhero movie ever. Potentially the best movie ever made, ever. It's just so funny. It embraces how ridiculous it is, and I love when movies do that. I love how much it plays with superhero tropes and makes them interesting again. I love every single actor that's in it. It's so good, and I don't care. It's my favorite live action Disney movie. It is the best superhero movie that there is. Okay, so top three Disney Pixar movies. Some honorable mentions include Inside Out. I mean, I would hope Inside Out is an honorable mention. I literally cosplayed Joy, so it would be really sad if I didn't like this movie. And Toy Story, like the original Pixar full-length animated film. Toy Story is great, 
Toy Story 2 is possibly my favorite. Toy Story 3 makes me cry. As, as a whole, great collection of movies. They do not need a fourth one. That's so unnecessary. But my actual top three. Coming in at number three, we've got Ratatouille. I love that they made a movie about a rat and it was like successful. That was what I loved about Pixar for so many years was that they kept making these movies about these characters that never should have been commercially successful and then they were and it's because Pixar has so much heart. They have a Ratatouille ride in Disneyland Paris and it's so cool. It makes you feel like you're a rat and you're the one running around the kitchen. It's really well done and I love it and I hope that they bring it or other rides like related to Ratatouille to other places. I understand why it was in Paris like I get it, but it'd be great if they brought it to some other parks because I thought it was a fun ride. And I think Ratatouille is a great movie. Coming in at number two, we've got Up. When I saw Up the first time, I saw it in 3D, which I don't usually do, but I had my 3D glasses, they were suction cupped to my face over my regular glasses, and after that first like eight minutes of opening, I had to peel the 3D glasses off my face and just let like torrents of water roll out. I think it's one of those movies that shows how much heart Pixar has and how much skill they have that they made this movie with this old man and a, and a little boy and a big bird and a dog and it was a family and it was happy and it was heartbreaking and the visual of the house flying away with all of the balloons is so distinct. And my number one favorite Disney Pixar film is Finding Nemo. It will always be Finding Nemo because I truly, truly identify with Marlin as a character, like, a little too much. The way the underwater looks, the different relationships that happen in this movie, it's funny, it's sharp, it's still good no matter how many times you watch it. Finding Nemo is just a classic. And I really liked Finding Dory, but it doesn't even come close to touching Finding Nemo in terms of quality in my opinion. Okay, we're slowly rounding up, so now I want to talk about my top three favorite Disney songs ever. So some of my honorable mentions, I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan. Try putting this song on and not having everyone in the vicinity immediately start singing. It's so good. I Won't Say I'm In Love from Hercules, which I belted legitimately just before I started filming this. Strangers Like Me from Tarzan, because I gotta show Phil Collins some love. And my last honorable mention is Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride from Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch, like Tarzan, isn't a musical, but it also has fabulous music. So now to talk about my top three songs. Coming in at number three, let's just get it out of the way. Let It Go. I think Let It Go is a beautiful song. I think Elsa as a character is a really good character. I think that that movie tackles depression and isolation in really interesting ways, which is why I love the song Let It Go. I still get, you know, goosebumps when I listen to it because I think that the music and the lyrics do such a good job of describing that feeling. At number two, we've got you're Welcome from Moana. If I'm being honest with myself, there's no song from Moana that I sing more often than You're Welcome. I'll just be sitting there in the middle of the day and I'll start like doing the breakdown in the middle and Janelle will just kind of look over at me and glare at me because I sing it on a loop all the time. Lin-Manuel, the guy writes good music. All the music in Moana is really, really good. But I love You're Welcome because it's fun and great to sing. And my number one favorite song from any Disney movie is When Will My Life Begin from Tangled. When Will My Life Begin is great because it begins the movie and it pulls you in and it automatically endears you to Rapunzel as a character. But the song does so much work in so little time and it's done really, really well and it's what makes you fall in love with the movie, I think. And finally, my last top three that I'm going to do is my top three favorite animated Disney films. First, I have three honorable mentions. I love Beauty and the Beast. It's one of the most beautifully animated movies. Princess and the Frog, the music's great. The vibe of that movie is so captivating. And my last honorable mention is The Emperor's New Groove, which I will laugh at to the end of time, no matter how many times I've seen it. I could probably start from the top right now and recite the movie for you because it's a real good Good movie. So my third favorite Disney original animated movie is Moana. I think Moana as a character is so fabulous. So many Disney ladies now, their story is about self-discovery because that's a universal story to want to watch. But I love her song that's near the end that's called I Am Moana, where she gets to just talk about who she is. I think it's it just hits me in my heart. I love Maui. 
I love all of the characters, and I love the ending. I love how the movie is resolved, and it gets me all tingly. It makes my arms all tingly, because it's great. My second favorite animated Disney movie is Tangled. This movie was so well done. It's been way too long since I've seen it. Also, the music is all great, and one of the most beautiful images for a Disney film, honestly, has got to be um, the scene where they're in the boat, and they're singing I'll See the Light, and all of the lanterns are above the castle, and they're just kind of looking at one another. I love Flynn Rider. I love the sidekicks, and the story, and the villain. It's just an incredible movie overall. Like, I don't know how else to talk about it. Tangled is great. It's my second favorite Disney animated film. And my number one favorite Disney animated movie is The Lion King. I haven't talked about The Lion King at all for this entire video, which is kind of weird considering it's my favorite. I don't know if I can tell you what it is about this movie that makes it my favorite. It's just that I love it. Maybe it's because the music is so fabulous. Maybe it's because I think it's really gorgeous to look at. Maybe it's because I think that the story is really tight. Whatever it is, The Lion King speaks to me and I watch it over and over and over again and enjoy it every single time. Anyway, those are some of my favorite Disney things. Please let me know what some of your favorite Disney things are, any of the things I listed, or anything else. If you love Disney, please share that love with me in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!